My name is Vince Porco, and I've been associated with the motion picture industry since I was 16 years old. In the late 1960s, I was the manager of the Dennis Theater when we played such art films as The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman and Ann Bancroft, and The Producers with Zero Mostel and Gene Wilder. At the present time, I'm a member of the Facilities Committee, and I hope that we can bring the Dennis Theater back to those glory days. My name is Ryan McElroy. I'm current board member of the Dennis Theater Foundation. I grew up in Bethel Park, which is a neighboring suburb of Mount Lebanon. Uh, and I used to visit the Dennis Theater when I was in high school. Um, it had all the movies that weren't in the local chain Cineplex. So we would come over and spend the evening in downtown Mount Lebanon, which was great. And I think that underlines the importance of the Dennis Theater being more than just Mount Lebanon's asset. I think it's a regional asset for the South Hills. Hello, my name's Doug Satterfield. I'm with Rollier's Hardware here in Uptown Mount Lebanon. And I want to explain to you the importance of having the Dennis Theater in Uptown Mount Lebanon. Uptown Mount Lebanon is one of the most unique shopping districts in Pittsburgh. It's full of hometown, privately owned restaurants, businesses. We're soon to have a hotel here. And the importance of having the Dennis Theater is just one more piece of the puzzle. Uptown Mount Lebanon, the best business district in Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm Michael. I've lived in Mount Lebanon since 1968. And I can't remember what the first movie I ever saw at the Dennis was, but I remember when it was a single screen downstairs and a single screen upstairs in what they used to call the Encore. And we saw a lot of really nice foreign films upstairs, and we saw quite a few of the regular run films downstairs. It was very sad for us when it closed, and we've been part of this group of people in this area have been trying to resurrect it, and we hope very seriously that it'll happen, and soon. Thank you. Um, when I was a little girl, I lived right down the street from the Dennis Theater um, on Cedar Boulevard, and my dad's pizza shop was actually where we are right now. It was called Caruso's Pizza, and I remember I was always up here and looking over at the Dennis and wanting to go see a movie, and. I think the best memory I probably have from the dentist was one day at lunch, my dad closed the pizza shop for like two and a half hours and took me over across the street to see Matilda, which is like one of my favorite books when I was a little yeah. girl and it was a lot of fun to see the movie with him and it was like a really special time for me. Um, so it's kind of a huge bummer that the dentist isn't there anymore and I feel like if it was, people would still go. I mean, we have everything else up here. We have like three frozen yogurt places and two pizza shops. We need a movie theater. Um, I guess I just I just liked it a lot and I miss it. Hi, I'm Ellie Hall and I'm the owner here at Yogli Mowgli Frozen Yogurt on Washington Road. And I want to share with you why I'm a huge supporter of the Dennis Theater Foundation. Um, first of all, from a, a small business owner perspective, you know, anything that all of us can do to really, you know, increase the health of the um, uptown here at Mount Lebanon and the economic vibrancy of um, Mount Lebanon is a good thing for everyone. So when I think about having the dentist theater here, I know for me personally, it's just so exciting to be able to think about the possibility of being able to enjoy film and other arts opportunities with my friends, with my family, the way in which it's going to enrich this community. I'm here for another Last Saturday Cinema that's sponsored by the Dennis Theater. And as a merchant on Washington Road for the last 25 years, I can't wait for this theater to reopen because it is going to be a great anchor for this vibrant, vital main street that is unique to Mount Lebanon and we'd love to keep it this way, keep it alive, have a cultural arts center where kids can go after school, where seniors can come in the afternoon for matinee, art programs, speaker programs. This theater cannot open soon enough and so we thank you for everyone for their support to make this happen. As you can see, we are all looking forward to the reopening of the Dennis. But we want you to know that the revitalized Dennis will be more than an experience of great film. The Dennis will be a gathering place for all generations to experience literary, 
visual and performing arts. It will be vibrant with lectures, workshops, and discussion groups. We hope you will join all of our Dennis supporters in bringing back a great community treasure. So see you at the Dennis.